the Mongolian giants continue to reign over the battlegrounds of South Asia, with stalwart esports claiming both the PMPL South Asia and the South Asia Championship title. As far as the team game goes, stalwart esports strategies were way too good for the others to handle, and the individual units that carry it seamlessly have made a name of their own this season. Top has emerged as the MVP of South Asia Championship, and we have a hands full with his awesome clutches. But the road of a champion is not all glory and gold. Like in the PMPL South Asia Finals, there was no gold place finish for him as he came fifth on the MVP list. But in a pool of top talents from T2K and Dead Eyes guys, this was a bolstering feat for Top, who has been continuously proving himself on the biggest stages. Trying to step it up on the biggest stage, the first match in South Asia Championship didn't go as planned, where Top, as the last surviving member of his team, couldn't handle the whole squad push of John Mata. But in Game 4, Top aided his team towards their first chicken dinner in Sandhawk. How he punished the Dead Eyes boys for their move out in the open was a treat to the eyes. Right next to the player De Dead Eyes guys, Turuluf gets taken out. Top two teams alive. Stalwart Esports versus DRS. And Stalwart Esports currently in the prime. Gaining momentum, Top went for confident flanks in the next match. While he got punished for taking tremendous risks, his teammates capitalized on the openings he created and bagged another win. But Top was too determined to shy away due to his mistakes and went all out to end the day on a big note. The surprise 1v3 against Team DG set the stage for what was to come next in the following days. But let's see if Stalwart Esports can, as Zigsaw has been taken down, the next knock being secured. Hey, we might choke, but these players never do. Top securing three knocks. Top had already secured more than 3,000 damage points on day one, going shoulder to shoulder with his own teammate Pika. Pika took the center stage on day two. Clutching a chicken dinner against Team TG, he continued giving serious competition to Top on the MVP list. Quite a teammate with some extra bit of information, but will it be enough? Now it's an all out duel between these two lads and Star Wars Esports. They go in and, and grab themselves another brilliant. However, Top also held his own by providing valuable support to his team and kept the scores up in the damage points tally. Continuing on day 3, he remained flawless as the support and helped his team secure good placement points throughout the day, strengthening the team's bold position on the table as well as his position on the top of the MVP list. Stepping into the final day, there wasn't much of a competition as to which team will win the championship title. However, the race for the MVP title was getting wild with each match. All Top needed was a champion's break on the final day to seal the title, and he delivered that with awe-inspiring performance in the Sandhawk match. He went off the hooks with an elimination spree of 10 finishes. From helmet cracking sprays to 100 IQ smoke screens to 1v1 reflexes, he became the fusion of all the pro skills in just one player. And that insanely accurate grenade going boom in the face of D.E. Chari reversed the momentum of the whole fight. So holding on to their spot, a nade being lobbed towards Chari. Will this connect? And yes, it does! Oh my it's god! god. Two nades from Star Team Deadeyes never expected that a nade will come up 20 feet from below them to take out one of their players. Top became the best performer of the match along with gathering all the necessary boosts he needed to claim the tournament MVP title for himself and back the $2,000 prize money. With him on board, no other team had the chance to steal the championship title and Stalwart Esports won the tournament with a huge lead. Every single time you're gonna have only that one winner and that one winner exactly. for this season is going to be Stalwart Esports. Conquering the bests of South Asia, we wonder what's next for Top's domination list. Stay tuned with us as he comes back with more action next season.